It's the Pet Show with Dr. Katie Nelson. Coming up on the show today, America's top veterinarian is in the house. Find out how he got the title and how he transformed his passion for animals into becoming an author. Well, everyone believes that their veterinarian is the best. I know I, my veterinarian's the best. <laughs> but the American Veterinary Medical Foundation has crowned America's top vet, and his name is Dr. Gary Richter, and he joins us now. Welcome to the Pet Show. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Uh, so obviously, this is a, a fun title. This is a fun thing sure. that our you know that our clients and friends mm -hmm. and people across the country vote on. Um, but to you, I mean, this is a great platform because yeah. of what you do as a veterinarian. Dr. Richter is uh, maybe a little bit of a different kind of veterinarian, integrative medicine, yep. and um, it's inspired you to actually sit down and write about it as well. So tell us about what it is that you do. Sure. You know, I, um, I just like you, I, I was I was trained as a as a conventional Western veterinarian, mm -hmm. but but over the years of being in practice, I really just I started to branch out and look mm -hmm. for other other opportunities of ways to help my patients. So I, I you know I got trained in in acupuncture mm -hmm. and chiropractic and herbal therapy, and I really started integrating all of those things into the Western medicine that I practice and what I found was is I got much better results mm -hmm. and and had much happier patients because of it well you know I think a lot of people see this as either or sure. medicine and and I really don't feel like that it's meant to be that way I mean we've made certain advances on one side and we've known things for thousands of years on the other side yeah. so why not bring that together oh it's so true and and you know the the amazing thing about it is is is, is there's just sort of this this amazing dovetail where you know where Western medicine tends to fall short is where alternative medicine really does well and mm -hmm. vice versa yeah. so the integration is just it's a match made in heaven mm -hmm. so let's give people an example okay so let's say we have let's make one up like my dog at home 11 year old Labrador mix uh -huh. um, healthy in many many ways great weight but severe severe arthritis in his hind limbs sure. so you know how would integrative medicine go into treating a dog like that sure so uh, you know in addition to everything that you would do as a, as a Western trained veterinarian you know there are there are no shortage of anti anti-inflammatory and pain relieving mm -hmm. herbal therapy that you can put these guys on. Uh, there are technologies like pulsating electromagnetic field therapy that can improve um, joint health. Uh, there's now stem cell therapy mm -hmm. that can improve uh, you know damaged joints. So there's all these these you know natural and alternative therapies that can be used along with the standard veterinary mm -hmm. care in order to help these guys feel so much better. Yeah, and acupuncture as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, you know, yeah. acupuncture, acupuncture yeah. herbal therapy, all of it. You know. Yeah. So I, I guess that's what I want people to understand that this is not an either-or approach. You know, you can use and you know Western anti-inflammatories or pain medications along with these other therapies to really have the holistic approach to finding a solution to keep Absolutely. your pet pain-free. Yeah. And it's not just for arthritis. There are you know, myriad disease conditions that this works with. Sure. Um, so tell people about your book. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I, um, uh, I've been treating animals for a, for a very long time, and what I found was is I was getting... I was getting calls at my office not only from people within within my area in California, but people from literally all over the country, and sometimes emails from around the world of people looking for help with their pets when they couldn't find any anywhere else. And what I realized was is I needed to find a way to to get that information out to more people. Mm -hmm. So I sat down and I and I and I wrote a book that really started out as a book about the benefits of whole of fresh whole food nutrition mm -hmm. for pets, and it kind of it kind of evolved into. Uh, you know the benefits of fresh whole food nutrition along with how to take western care and alternative and holistic care and integrate all of it together uh, to become a new model for both preventative and therapeutic treatment of mm -hmm. pets. Wow. Where can people find it? Uh, uh, they can find it at PetVetExpert.com. Mm -hmm. Now this is completely off the subject, or maybe not, but what's the most fun thing about being America's top veterinarian so far? Oh gosh, I mean, I think the most fun thing is, 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 is I get the opportunity to educate more and more people mm -hmm. and to teach more and more people about things that they might not have known about their pets and how to keep their pets healthier. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. yeah. Are you getting to travel? I am getting Obviously, to travel. you're from Oakland, California, so you're here in D.C. I know, but and I came here from uh, from Boston uh, this morning from where I was speaking at a conference. Was it conference. you that had the lobster? It was not <laughs> me that had the lobster, no. Okay, Vegetarian, good. not me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for everything that you do. Congratulations on thank your you. title and on your book. Um, we will have information on where to find Dr. Richter's book on our Pet Show Facebook page, um, and he's got his website, his website right there. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. 